Hello, welcome to Math with Nile. Today we're learning about 3D shapes. Hi Nile, what are we doing with 3D shapes today? We're seeing how many faces it has, their names, their vertices, how many vertices they have, and how many... Edges. Edges. And what have you got in your hand? A cuboid. It's a cuboid. What did you draw there? A face, because these are called faces. Those are the faces. So let's start off by counting how many faces a cuboid has. Can you count them first? One, two, three, four, five, six. Six faces. You want to grab a six and put it. Find cuboid. Cuboid. Six. Okay, good. And what are edges, Naya? Edges are these parts. Okay, where the faces meet. Yeah. So can you hold the cuboid and count how many edges it has? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Okay, can you count that again? Because it looked really confusing for us. Can you hold it in the palm of your hand? Okay. okay, and can you count the four on top going around One, first? Two, three, four. Good, and can you count the four coming down the side? Five, five six, seven, eight. And then at the bottom? Nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Very good. So how many edges? Twelve. Okay, put your twelve edges. One. And they two. Okay, stand to the side so we can see a bit. Okay, that's good. good. And lastly, what are the vertices? The points. Ouch, ouch. Okay, the little points where the edges meet. So how yeah. many vertices does that cuboid have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Great. Put the cuboid down on the table. And get an eight. Good job. Now put the cuboid to the side so you don't mix it up with the with the other shapes. And pick any shape at random. Quickly. Okay. What is that called? A sphere. No, a hemisphere. A hemisphere. What did you say first? A sphere. A sphere. What's the relationship between that and a hemisphere? This is half. And a sphere. Sorry. A sphere. That is half okay. of a sphere. Okay, very good. How many faces does a hemisphere have? One, two. Two faces. So you want to find hemisphere on the board and put two faces. Two. Two faces. And how many edges does it have? Can you show us? One. One edge. And how many vertices? Zero. Zero vertices because there are no points. Okay, put that one down. And because we did hemisphere and sphere came up, yes. I've got something in my hand. And it's called a sphere, and I'm going to catch it. Okay. There you go. So that's our sphere. So let's hold so it up. It what has. does it remind you of? You just caught it. A ball! It. <laughs> okay. So it has one face, yes. zero edges, zero vertices. Very good, Naya. One edge, one face, sorry, zero mm -hmm. edges and zero vertices. So where is Sphere. Zero of these and zero of these and, then, and one of these. Okay, just remember we want to see what you put on the board. Yeah. So, one face, zero edges and zero vertices. Very yeah. good. Oops. Thank you. Okay, grab another shape. Uh, I pick a cylinder. Cylinder. Very good. Tell me about the properties of the cylinder. One face, two face, three face. Okay. Three faces. So, three faces. Yeah. Three faces. 
Let's see what you're working at next before you get the number. Two edges. But you didn't two. show us the two edges. Two edges, look one. Okay. Two. Good. Two edges. Two edges. And how many vertices? Zero vertices. Zero vertices. It's very common for shapes to have zero vertices. I've noticed that. Have you? Yeah. Okay. Zero okay, let's put that one down and get another one quickly. We've had one, two, three, one, but zero vertices. We, I shall choose. Hmm. Triangular base pyramid. It is. Why is it called a triangular base pyramid? Because it has a triangle. At the base. So put that triangle on your hand. Huh. And how, what makes it a pyramid? This shape here, and the faces it, come up and they meet at a point. Yes. Okay. It wouldn't be called a triangular base pyramid if there wasn't another type of pyramid. Exactly. Good so observation. So we have a square base pyramid too. Okay, we'll look at that in a minute. Very yeah. good. So how many faces does that does that triangular base pyramid have? One, two, three, four. Four faces. Very good. Four faces. Um, this is a um, triangular base pyramid. Okay, so four faces. How many edges? One, two, three, four, five, six. Very good. Six edges. One, two, three, four. Very good. Good job. Okay, four vertices. Okay, let's put that down and let's grab another shape. Cube. How do you know that's a cube? Mm. I learned it in school. <laughs> well, how else do you know for sure it's a cube? Why is it a cube? Um. What's the difference with a cube and a cuboid? Um, a cu cuboid is like a cube, but like, so this is a 3D square and that's a 3D rectangle. So you've used the right word there. All those faces are? The same. Squares. Yeah, squares. So the cube has six square yeah. faces. Six square faces. Wait, what is this? Cube. Good. Okay. Um, how many does the cuboid have? 12. So the cube also has 12. Good yes. observation. So the cuboid, what type of faces does the cuboid have? Rectangle. Very good. So they have the same... So where's this cube? Okay. Did you forget the one for the... Oh, very good. And, and then yeah. it has now cuboid 8. 8. Yeah. But, um, this is quite easy once you know your cuboid, or the cuboid is quite easy to figure out once you have your square. Your cube. Once you have your cube. Yes, very good. So put the eight, and can we just um, pick up the cuboid in your hand? Mm -hmm. Pick up the cuboid oh, with the cube. Oh. Uh, oh, what is it's in the shape that you've done. Yes. Yeah, and just lift both both of them up so we can just yeah. show everybody why they were the same. Yeah. So the cuboid has rectangular faces. Yes. And the cube has square faces. Yeah, so if they didn't have if they both had rectangular square faces, they would both be the same. Exactly. So, so every... they've got the same number of faces, vertices. And, and edges. edges. Okay, brilliant. Okay. So put the, both of them to the right side so we don't mix them up. Grab another one. Okay, I have grabbed a... I forgot the name. It has a shape that starts on Tri one end and comes through the other end. Triangular prism. It is a triangular prism. So what's the shape that goes through one end and comes out on the other side? Um, a triangle. A triangle. 
and because that shape goes all the way through, that's why it's called a prism. Yeah. So that is a triangular prism. Yeah. So how many faces? Raise it up so we can have a look. One, two, three, four, five. Five faces. So let's put. Okay, so this is a. Wait, have we done cone? No, we haven't. We're doing triangular prism. Look right at the bottom. Okay. The last one. Triangular prism. Five faces. Okay. How many edges? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine edges. Nine edges. And vertices. Vertices. Let's have a look. One, two, three, four, five, six. Excellent. Six. At the bottom. Ah. Okay, good. You've got two more shapes to do. So yeah. put that one down and grab one of the last, one of the two shapes remaining. Cone. Okay, why is that a cone? Because it's shaped like an ice cream cone. It is. How many faces? One, two. So two edges. Two edges or two faces? Two faces, I mean. Mm -hmm. Two faces. One. One edge. Edge, good. One edge. And how many vertices? One edge. And vertices one. Very good. I chose a green one because this is green. But you also chose a blue and a red for the vertices and the faces. Well, a blue and a, a red and a green and a blue. Yeah. Okay. Now, last one. It is called a. Mm -hmm. What's it called? <laughs> Square base pyramid. Why? Because it's called a square base pyramid. Why is it called a square <laughs> base pyramid? So because it has a square base. It has a square base. <laughs> and it has a And all the other faces may come up and meet at a point. Yeah. Okay, like good. a pyramid. Exactly. So how many faces? One, two, three, four, five. Great. I wonder what's inside here. I have no idea. <laughs> but. Okay, and the edges? Lift it up so we can see you can't see the edges. Edges. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Excellent. Eight. Eight edges. And the vertices. Vertices. One, two, three, four, five. Five vertices. I'm still trying to wonder, what is this? It's a square based pyramid. I mean, what's inside? I don't know. Maybe, okay. maybe it's full of air inside, so all inside is just space. Yeah, and something shaking, so... And then a piece of it broke off. Oh. And then it now... That makes sense. Mm -hmm. That makes sense. Okay, that was a brilliant job, Niall. Yeah. I'm very impressed with your 3D shapes understanding. But we have done this a couple of times yeah. now, so you're getting used to it. Yeah. Okay, lovely lesson. Bye, hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, subscribe now. Okay, Bye. See you next time.